Ryan, you've been doing some study uh, about an all-important subject in this election, and that's turnout. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an off year, a uh, non-presidential year, and turnout is very, very important. So you've brought some information with you uh, about that. So walk us through, say, three charts that you've done about specific demographic groups that could be very important in this election in Florida. Sure, I'd, I'll be glad to. You know, when, when in my role at Associated Industries of Florida, we try to take a look at the electorate from a clinical or almost mathematical perspective, uh, understanding both partisan sides. But you can't deny that President Obama's two successful uh, victories in Florida was determined by what we like to call the ascending electorate. Uh, these are primarily younger voters, these are minorities, and these are uh, tend to be unmarried women for the most part. So we took the chance to, took the opportunity to look at the U.S. Census Bureau's reports on such those groups. And what you're going to find here, looking at age first, is when you compare presidential years, 2008 and 2012, to the midterm, that was in 2010, clearly the data shows a trend where voters who are younger, that are 39 or younger, have a far more uh, a drastic sh a decrease in their share of the electorate than their counterparts that tend to be older, which also tend to be more Republican in their behavior. Uh, the next slide that, that I would... Uh, you, you're meaning in the off year. That's correct. Okay. In the midterm, there is a much more of a drop-off uh, of these younger voters uh, that show up in these, in these midterm elections that tend to be more Democrat in their behavior, absolutely. Okay, okay. And then ahead. the next slide we'd point out is, is as we look at minority voters, uh, you can see that from the two presidential years and then looking at the midterm in 2010, there clearly is once again a drop-off of, of uh, Hispanic voters, somewhat with African Americans as well. Again, these are groups that are starting to behave more Democrat, explaining why the president's able to win Florida in those last two presidential elections. But if the Democrats can't turn those uh, members of the ascending electorate out, it becomes a problem electorally for uh, Charlie Crist as he... Hold on just a sec. I want to make sure our viewers can read this poll or this chart very carefully. Yes, sir. You've, you've got some highlights here or some headlines. Turnout among African Americans fell 21 points from 2008 to 2010. So you're analogizing that to the situation here where we have an off-year, non-presidential uh, year, and you're, you're suggesting that there will be a, a similar fall off, if you will, or turn, turn out from uh, African Americans. I would I, I would tell you that the data is suggesting that, that that's going to happen. Okay, Absolutely, history sure. is an indicator that these racial demographics or the age demographics, these are voters who tend to be Democrat okay. in their voting behavior. Okay. They just have a history of not turning out as heavy okay. in midterms. Okay, go ahead. And then the final slide we'd point out is with marital status. Uh, unmarried women's women saw a 22 point drop in turnout from 2008 to 2010. And I think our research and then just raw voter demographic uh, data shows that unmarried women tend to be far more Democrat in their electoral behavior than their counterparts who are married women.